friend, Betty Who, has performed on our show we a few like times. Betty. We love that. The band's back together again. Yes, this we morning. are. We're getting Good the morning. band back together. Miss you. Uh, it's I, a traveling man. Yeah. Crazy weekend. So Saturday, I went to go see uh, Dear Evan Hansen, uh, mm. and uh, I took my son and, and some uh, uh, some friends, and one of the stars of the show, this young man, Will Rowland, who plays uh, Evan Hansen's cousin, and uh, uh, I just happened to follow him, and his mother sent him this picture, and he tweeted it out. Where, where should I hold this? What, you follow him on, t on social media? Yeah, I follow him on social media. What do you mean you follow him? Uh, I just oh, went, wow. and I didn't go backstage or anything. I'd, if I go again, I'd love to do it. But How cool is it that? Was, yeah, so, so it was cool. cool. And then uh, after that, then Sunday, I flew to Los Angeles, and I went to Don Rickles' memorial oh, service, which was um, amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, and just, I mean, just such an honor to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then from there, I went to... Uh, uh, I went to the Grand Canyon. Oh wow! Uh, with the, our our three young kids that we uh, talked about. How was that? And it was it was magic. So it's for everything. people who may not remember, uh, Al, you wow, yeah. that's, that's awesome. fantastic. Yeah, I feel like all the things you named, they had an experience before they even got there. Yeah. Right. With the train and yes. the you know everything. That is really cool. So yeah. what was there? I guess we'll have to wait and see the, yes. the piece. Yes, yes. Well, but I can't wait to sometime hear next month. Hear their reaction. Really Very exciting. cool. Okay, so, that's uh, cool. Uh, and I, you had a busy. Yeah, I had a I had a great day yesterday. Um, I hosted the Gracies Luncheon, uh, and the Gracies are an award that's given out. Uh, this was mostly to local markets. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, I think they've got a future. I think they really do. <laughs> they keep. Wait, which camera is up there? Uh, wow. Up there. I didn't know that there was one. a camera. Oh, up did you know? How long have you been doing this show? I've never looked up. That's <laughs> it's almost up. intimidating. And when do we ever take that so, shot? We have all the, the cooking, the, the cooking segment. And you uh, zoom the Vulcan mind melt. What? It's got a little control uh, Where? thing over. I think you should take his camera more often to give him something to do. Yeah. Like during the chat. No, don't don't encourage him. <laughs> Learning new things about every, the show day? every day. That's right. Well, coming up is <laughs> your banana. favorite. That's right. You know what? Banana. Banana. They love them. It's that simple. Anyway, we got more of today's take, and uh, we may have some control. We're back now with more of today's take. And we've all been there as a parent. You're out in public, mm -hmm. and your child starts throwing a tantrum. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Can, can we look at Chanel? Yeah. <laughs> well, because it happens to me all the time. It happened to me yesterday three times. Wow. Yeah, each, I was picking up individual each, kids. Each, each kid? One, my, my son. Yeah. I, well, I say my son as if I don't have two sons. My youngest son. Uh, we were coming out of summer camp, and he was like, I want ice cream. I want ice cream. And I just met this lovely father of another kid that our kids were playing with. And so that was the first impression of my kids. I want ice cream. I want ice cream. I'm like, it's dinner time. We'll have ice cream. We'll get dinner, and then we can have ice cream later. I want ice cream. So then I'm like this. The try. Well, you know, you should, if you <laughs> the face. And you know what he does? Come on, I shame! And he just kept doing it over and over that and over. That scares me. And then he falls out all over the place. So this is why we're talking about this. Have you seen this Jane the Virgin star, Justin Baldoni? Um, he handled it in a, an amazing way. He was with his father, right? Mm -hmm. The little kid gets on the floor as kids. Oh, my. What is, what is going on? Uh, have well, you some oh, other? Steve Carell and Kristen Wiig just left. That's exactly <laughs> 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 part of this. All right, let's show you what's going on as far as country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. That is your latest weather. Up next, it's been called the Millennial Generations. It is hard to believe, but... <laughs> Four kicks off. All the lies are starting to unravel. But Debbie's character, Maggie, thinks telling the truth can be overrated. Debbie, good morning to you. Good morning. Everybody's buzzed <laughs> and listening to her problems. Um, and there, it's just great. I, I get the season premiere of Younger Tonight on TV Land. Up next, the minions are already creating mayhem in our studios. Now, movies of the summer, Despicable Me 3. The franchise, which has already grossed $1.5 billion <laughs> and counting, returns with Steve Carell as Gru and Brooke. Steve Carell and Kristen Wiig. Good morning to both of you guys. Good, Good morning. morning. So to prepare for the interview, the screening for Despicable Me, and I will admit, I used it as the best I'm all for that. behaved kid I've ever <laughs> had. <laughs> but it's so funny to the point where we could all watch it together. The adults are laughing just as much as the kids. Obviously, that's the goal, right? When everybody can enjoy it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. It's <laughs> that's, that's yeah. a, that'd be a weird movie. <laughs> <laughs> Come see it. You are a pie. Because, I mean, considering the franchise is already yes. in the billions. Billions I mean, appeal to adults. That appeal yeah. to <laughs> evil guy. Which, yeah. And you get to play two roles in this. I do, yeah. I really stretch my mind. Trying to come up with a whole different voice. Where else could you go from there? <laughs> exactly. Let's have, what, what, what was the best part? Literally promoting. Aren't in 
the Spanish version. No, we're not. Uh, basically. <laughs> Did you think maybe we should next time do it? In Did, I don't know why I just got up like this <laughs> for you. The so I, we're, we're, I look at some of these tweets. <laughs> we put these together. I don't know why I'm jumping uh, across the table. A sex a symbol? This is great. the worst <laughs> because I feel it's dripping with sincerity. Thank, thank you. Good. Thanks. We, we like and it. You? Like it was kind of like, oh, I get it. They could be cousins. Oh, oh I, guess. I would gladly. Like <laughs> and I'm jumping over tables, and I don't know why. Veered into the uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal Blake and Stephanie Universal hitting theaters this Friday. Up next, from a pool party to a cocktail party. Afternoon, and then you know how the date goes on. Then you end up at dinner with your friends. My, day, my days don't go like that. But <laughs> who wants to go back home and change? Yeah. Well, you don't have to. With these summer styles, that'll take you from day to night. From I'm fashion expert. Let's start off with a trip to the beach. Yes, okay, so Lisa looks fabulous. She's going down to the Jersey Shore and she's only bringing what's on her body. Amber's headed to the Hamptons. Mm. We put her in this fabulous Eloquy.com dress. Eloquy is for women sizes 14 and up. And I love this because she's going right to the park. Look, Next okay. We're spending a day in Miami. Yes, Roma is going well, to hello. Miami. She's celebrating life because she she won't let me say her actual age. Much. Addo's our California guy, so we put him in these amazing board shorts. These are from Urban Outfitters. Oh, They're only $31. Then we give him this. Yeah. <laughs> that was 